guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about setting sprays and I'm specifically going to be talking to you guys about Scandinavia. Now Scandinavia is a brand that's very well known for their setting sprays and I finally got my hands on some and put them to the test. I am a huge fan of setting sprays in general. I love using setting mists or setting sprays or priming mists, priming sprays, and I love even using skincare mists. So anything that I can mist on my skin, I'm obsessed with. And after hearing all the hype about Scandinavia, I had to get my hands on them and see for myself. Now a brand that I have loved and used their setting sprays and priming sprays for years is Urban Decay. And Urban Decay actually made their setting sprays in collaboration with Scandinavia, which is a great sign because Urban Decay is a very high-end, very sought-after brand. And if a high-end luxury brand like that is wanting to collaborate with another brand, it's definitely a good sign. This has been my favorite setting spray for years. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And if you look on the back of the bottle, it says Urban Decay by Scandinavia. And I knew that when I started using the Urban Decay setting sprays that they were working with Scandinavia. And then after being on YouTube and hearing so many great things about them, I was finally like, okay, let's get our hands on it and let's see what it's all about. So the first setting spray that I decided to try out is this guy right here. This is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray in the Bridal Collection. This is the one that after being on Camera Ready Cosmetics and multiple different makeup artist websites that had the highest ratings and the most positive reviews. So I decided to try this one out first. And this one is the one that I would say is most comparable to the All Nighter. If you're familiar with using Urban Decay setting sprays, this one is very similar. However, I think it's a little bit stronger than the all nighter. This one is a great option if you're gonna be wearing your makeup all night long, if you have a very special event, or if your makeup just tends to not wear well and you need something to lock it all in there, this one is amazing for that. I love using this one for my brides because I think that brides need their makeup to stay and not budge. If you're doing any photo shoot work or if you just want makeup that is bulletproof, this is a great option. So next I have the Oil Control Collection, and this is the Makeup Finishing Spray Oil Control, and this one is the Makeup Priming Spray in Oil Control. So these ones are to be used together to sandwich makeup onto the skin to give you ultimate longevity. So you start off with your priming spray with a clean face after you've cleansed and moisturized. You'll go in and mist your skin with this guy, do your makeup, and then once your makeup is complete, you go in and you set your face with this one. And these two are so great at oil control. I think that these ones are even more powerful than the Urban Decay oil control line. These ones leave your skin very matte and you can feel the like tightening that it does on the skin. If you are not a oily skin type, this may be a little bit too much oil control for you, but if you are doing a super hot day, if it's gonna be sweating or if you need something that's just gonna lock it all in, I think that this is a great option. I love the primer and then the setting spray because it really just sandwiches and loads it all up on the skin so that it does not move. Primers are amazing and they do a lot of different things for your skin. A lot of them are gonna help with the overall finish and the appearance of the makeup. And that's not necessarily what this primer spray is to do. This is strictly for those of you who are going for longevity. Those of you who have issues with your makeup breaking up super quickly because you're oily and your oil comes through the skin and it tends to break down the makeup on top. Or for those of you who need something to really help the makeup to stick on the face like glue. This does an amazing job with that. If you're needing something to help with the overall finish or texture of your makeup, make sure you pair this with another primer, something that's going to be like a pore minimizer, or a pore filler, or a line filler, or something that is even going to give more luminosity to the skin because that is not what this guy is for. But I think that this is amazing for pairing with those kinds of primers. I also think this is great for those of you who are extremely oil and no matter what you do, your makeup always ends up looking shiny throughout the day. I would even recommend using another oil controlling primer, something that is more emollient that you can put on the skin, something for the T-zone area that tends to produce the most oil and then going over it with this one. And that's just gonna give you the most maximum oil control possible. And I love using this primer if I'm going to be going on a hot day. So if I'm going shopping or if I'm running errands or if I'm going to a fair or somewhere that I know is going to be super hot, this is an amazing product. 
Out of the two makeup finishing sprays, I personally prefer the bridal one just because I'm more dry and this one doesn't tighten my skin as much, but it does an amazing job of setting the makeup, taking away any sort of powdery finish that you may have, and giving you a beautiful skin light texture while still making your makeup last through a rainstorm. And then this is the oil control one, which I definitely love. I will use this one on my hot summer days and I will use this one on any of my clients that tend to be more oily. I think that these are both amazing and you'd be happy with either, but if you're more oily, I'd go with oil control. If you're more dry or normal, I would go with the bridal, unless it is summertime and you know you sweat a lot, then oil control is the way to go. These mists, the full size, are four fluid ounces, which is amazing because most setting sprays are about two or three ounces, so they are smaller. And these ones are a very comparable price point to a lot of other high-end makeup setting sprays that I've used on the market. And the mist on these is so great. I love the mist that these provide. It's so fine. It's You can't even really see it on the camera. It's just the lightest little trickle of product. And it's a very large, wide area of a spray. So you can get away with doing just a couple mists on your face and it'll cover the entire surface area. But they do recommend that you apply this in a T and in an X. That way you can get the entire perimeter of the skin covered. But I find that I can get my whole face done in two sprays with this if I really want to because it sprays so well. And having a fine mist on your setting spray is really important because that way it doesn't splatter any like larger trickles of product on the skin, which can build up on the skin and add an extra shine and they will pick up if you're looking in a mirror you'll be able to see little bits of setting spray so how amazing these packaging is is really important to me the Scandinavia setting sprays and priming sprays are also perfect for all skin types because they are paraben free, they're oil free, the primer is silicone free, and they last up to 16 hours. So this is something that anyone and everyone can be using. If you are a makeup artist, you need these in your kit. You need these. These are the best for brides, for clients, for prom queens. If you are working on anyone, their main priority is going to be getting the makeup to last through their photos or through whatever event that they're doing. And that is so important to make sure as a makeup artist and as a business owner that you are using products that are going to make the skin look beautiful and flawless all day long. And I definitely think that this oil control line is going to be a must have if you are working on oily skin types or if you're doing any kind of work in the summertime. That way your makeup is basically waterproof and he can try to take you swimming on the first date and your makeup isn't going anywhere. Now I love my Urban Decay setting sprays. I love a lot of other brands that I use, both setting sprays and priming sprays, and I think that those are great, but after using the Scandinavia ones and really putting these guys to the test, I think these are definitely a must have for a makeup artist kit, and I think that these are gonna be my go-to because they have a great size, a great mister, amazing quality, and their price point is really reasonable as well. They're a little bit on the pricey side, but their website is constantly doing different deals and promos where you can buy two get one free or you can get an extra bonus gift in your goodie bag or a lot of the times you can get free shipping so I definitely recommend Scandinavia and I definitely think you guys should check it out if you're in the market for something that's going to make your makeup last all day long and if you are a makeup artist if you do freelance work if you do other people's makeup this is definitely a must-have these are one of those products that in the makeup artistry world and in cosmetics I am very very passionate about. I think that they are so amazing. I think it's a great brand and I think you guys should definitely check it out. So let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments down below. Let me know your feedback. I'd love to hear if you guys have ever tried Scandinavia and what your thoughts are. I love setting sprays and I love talking to you guys about it. So definitely hit me up on my social media or subscribe to this channel and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys in a later video. Mwah.